It seems like it would take a miracle to clean a tub like this, let alone make it look new again. But that's just what we're going to do with the professionals from Miracle Method Surface Refinishing. We'll begin with Steve Logason as he introduces our project. And we'll follow the surface refinishing process with Matt Mozingo as we see the transformation of an old ugly tub into a new refinished one. Wow, Steve, I've, I've seen some ugly tubs, but this one really takes the cake. And that's usually the case when customers call to have a tub refinished, they say it's an ugly tub, and that can be mean different things to different people. It could be just changing the color when there's nothing wrong with the tub, and it could be to a, a tub that's in a poor shape like this one, and this is a, in poor shape and what you can consider an ugly tub. Yeah, I think that that's an understatement, poor shape. Sure, there are some chips here that I see in the porcelain, but look at how stained it is all around and it seems to be falling apart, but your Miracle Method resurfacing system is actually going to be able to rejuvenate this and save this tub? Yes, it's actually in decent sound shape yet, and what we're having here is not just a stain, but where the porcelain has actually worn away. This is the perfect outline of a bath mat that's been sitting here, trapping the water under it for probably a couple years or more, and with the water trapped under anything, even a shampoo bottle, it'll wear right through the porcelain, and then that's where the, you have the steel showing through. Wow, here I did think it was a stain, and I've seen that in other porcelain tubs where you get down around where the water drips or something, you, it mm -hmm. tends to wear away. I've never seen it on this grand a scale, and so that's just the steel showing through, and I should have realized this is rust down there. Is Correct. that a cause for concern? We will address that and sand that out so there is no rust and not a concern. And then once we get our chemicals on there, we will treat that right and uh, we'll get a nice finish over it. Okay, so in this segment, are we going to have a chance to actually see the miracle behind Miracle Method? Absolutely. I'll start working now and you can talk with Matt and he can explain the process. Okay, we'll catch up with you later in the show. All right. Matt, it's looking better already now. It is. Obviously, it's not completed yet, but let's talk about what the process was that's got us to this stage. Right. Um, what we're doing, first of all, is coming in and going through our cleaning process. So the first thing that Steve did is went with the razor, took off all the caulking from the shower door, all the big, heavy dirt that was on the tub, started scraping it down. Uh, then we have a two-step cleaning process that we go through. Uh, the first one is step one. And basically, it goes after your rust deposits, mineral deposits, and things of that nature. Uh, after that's all scrubbed and rinsed down, then we follow that up with step two. Step two is a defilmer. It's going to go after your body oils, soap scum, shampoos, things like that, and get the surface all good and prepped. Well, it must be pretty impressive cleaners not available right. in any store because Correct. just the transformation that's been made so far, it looks really clean. Yeah, so once we get it all cleaned, uh, then it's a matter of coming in and doing body work and taking care of all the low spots. So where the chip was down here, uh, where it was worn, where the shower door was, anything on the bottom of the size of the tub, the resin's not going to fill in. We go ahead and get it filled with a two-part epoxy filler, get everything sanded smooth, which Steve will be doing next, and then we're ready to get everything vacuumed and wiped down and ready to shoot. One question I have for you, this is always a problem for homeowners if you've ever experienced the, uh, oh, yeah, be the, old, the old drain there. They're usually nasty. Yeah, oh man, look at that. It's all plugged up and, oh, geez, it's just disgusting. Is there any remedy for that if I'm a homeowner out there watching this? Sure. What we'll do, uh, we'll mask off the drain basket, tub will be refinished, and after it's refinished, we'll go ahead and install a drain kit. And basically, it's a nice chrome brass piece uh, that has this disc in it called a toe tip. So if you want to take your bath, you just put the disc flat, and then when you're ready to uh, have the water drain out, you just pivot it. So this piece lives in there, so you're not having to lift something out and place it on the side of the tub. So it's a, it's a permanent piece. And that'll just fit in the existing basket right down there. Yeah, so it just drops in right there. And then to cover up the overflow, uh, instead of having the uh, ugly lever, uh, we go ahead and put a smooth, solid cover over the overflow, and it just cleans everything up 
and makes everything look new. Well, you know, it's already looking a lot better than it did when we first started. I'm dying to see the transformation yeah. and the end result. So let's get out of Steve's way, let him finish, and you now catch up when it's done. All right. This is incredible. You know, when we started this segment, there's no way Long I way. thought that you could ever yeah. restore this tub, but it looks brand new. Yeah, it turned out real nice. Um, you can tell you got a nice, even, glossy finish. It's polished. It's going to be very easy to keep clean. It's going to feel nice when you take your bath. So yeah, it's, uh, it's come a long way. It's oh, done real good. The homeowners are going to be just elated, and then with a nice new surround in there, it's going to be oh, like a pop. whole new bathroom. Now, what got us to this point? I mean, he did all the prep before, yeah, yeah. and then there must be some oh, yeah. real special techniques to get it to look this there, beautiful. There are many steps to get to this point. So uh, after everything was cleaned and sanded smooth, everything gets masked off, so everything's gonna be covered. And then basically, the process entails applying a special bonding agent. It's a two-part chemical that we wipe on. Basically, what it does is it chemically welds the product to the surface. So we're not having to worry about any peeling or lifting. So really the bonding agent is the miracle method. That is the miracle method, yes. Miracle method. Absolutely. So uh, after we get it bonded, we go ahead and spray an epoxy primer followed by an acrylic urethane top coat. Um, we also added a slip resistant surface to the bottom of this tub. When we're done with our tubs, they're very polished, they're very smooth. So a lot of times people will opt to do a a surface that makes it a little bit safer getting in and out of the tub. You know, I really like your surface. It's not a sticker on right. there. This is actually is an integral It's a permanent part of the tub. Sure. sure. So as a homeowner, if I have a tub that is as ugly as this or I want to change the color, I have a choice of either yanking it out of the house or refinishing it. And I take it the refinishing is a lot less expensive. Oh, yeah. Uh, we actually uh, were able to take care of this tub for under $500. So. <laughs> You're kidding me. That's a lot less than buying a new one. A lot less, yes. Okay, so how long can the homeowners expect this new finish to last? Uh, this tub should last for 20 years, no problem. Uh, we have 130 of us nationwide, and uh, we actually offer a five-year warranty on the tub, so it's a good product. It's going to last a long time for you and save you a lot of money. Well, I'm anxious to see some more areas in a home that this can be used, so let's get out of here and we'll right. catch up with you a little later in the show. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll check out some other household surfaces that can be refinished, including countertops, tile, and sinks, when we continue with today's Home Remodeler.